All right, anybody that's been following Mud Fossil University knows that I, Roger, have been very seriously pushing the idea that we have to understand the chemistry that's in our body, which is primarily is the blood chemistry elements. What is in your blood? How much of this? How much of that? What's missing? What's, it, what's really in your blood? They don't know. They only have a handful of little things they pick up on. And I'll tell you what is should be in your blood, and maybe is not, maybe it is. And I don't know. And I don't know how much is supposed to be there and how much is not supposed to be there. But I can guarantee you one thing. There will be a norm. All right? You're not gonna just going to have some guy's going to have a handful of this and the other guy's going to have two handfuls. No. You should have the same quantities of similar things in your body because they do similar jobs. You're a similar, similar functioning creature. And that is why I say transition metals are the things that you absolutely have to have the correct amounts. Otherwise, you're going to have all kinds of problems. Everything in your body is going to be affected when there's certain transition metals are missing. So your skin will have a problem if certain ones are missing. Your hair, if other ones, your eyes, your toenails, your... I mean, your, it's absolutely amazing how specific the things in your body are and how important it is to have the, the ingredients to make it work. So, on that note, I've been pushing transition metals and, and talking about it and this and that. And a good friend sent me something about... Uh, this particular type of thing he's been taking and as he said he's been taking it for seven months of tremendous response to it so I ordered some but I, I just want to show you what's in it this is what's in it and see this plus here plus here they don't know what's the, what, what the daily values are supposed to be nobody knows nobody has an idea but this is what is in the earth now why do I say it's important all these things what was how could I come up with that well they were in the earth these things are things that were in the earth they didn't come from nowhere Nobody made these. That, those are earth products that have been depleted from the soils. As, as creatures digest and eat all the natural stuff that was here from the beginning, they concentrate it in their, their, their waste products and they end up going into salts and solutions and runoffs and so forth. So these things are missing, a lot of these. And that is everything literally on the periodic chart. I'm good with this. I'm 100% I'm good with this because you need all it, but who knows how much is in you. So we need a database. This is absolutely critical, and I can't understand why it hasn't already been done because it's like going to, the, to, uh, to, uh, to a garage, and the guy says, well, we don't check any of this stuff. You know, your car has a problem. Well, there's all these things matter, but we don't really look at them. We just sort of knock out the dents and send you back on your way. No, you have to look at all of this stuff. How much of erbium, you ever hear that? Erbium, europium, gadolinium, all of those were in the earth. Something ate it. Something ended up eating it, and we ended up eating the things that ate it out of the dirt in the soils. It's not there anymore. So, I think your body can deal with this in, in certain quantities, but who knows how much is supposed to be there. So, I'm going to show you my, my way of dealing with this, and I think this will, will put people on a very healthy path. Because once I found this stuff, my friend had sent to me, I, I said, well, let me look into this. So, I did, and I, I, you know, I'm a pretty loudmouth guy. I just run my mouth, if, and, and, and if somebody responds, I pay attention and it's like 45,000 people on my my YouTube channel now and they are engaged they're happy to, to 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 help if they can and most you know not always but sometimes I get some extremely good responses and and almost every time I get extremely good responses. let me put it that way um, but sometimes they're just outstanding and 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 leads to to things that are unknown and, and I'm trying to spread it around. Now, I don't know if this is good or not to take this because I don't know how much of this stuff you're supposed to have and I don't know what's good. Nobody knows. Daily value, not a stop, established. So, we need a database. Let's go from there. Simple as this. This is how I think we can fix the health system here in the United States, which is in terrible condition because people go to the doctor, they're never getting healed. They're going in with chronic illnesses. They say, oh, it flares up. Well, that means there's a trigger. 
What was the trigger? What is the condition? You know what they're doing for this fibromyalgia and 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 um, all of these different autoimmune diseases? They're just numbing you with drugs that could make it so that you don't really feel the pain anymore. It's not a, a, a cure, and they tell them there's no cure, no cure. Well, let's look at it a little deeper now. So I say how to fix the health system. I'm saying that is a response from your body to not having the right chemistry. That's what it is. So when you eat something that's wrong, it's going to trigger it. Or if you're in the sunlight and you get it, it triggers something. Or if you um, drink something that's wrong. Or, uh, you know, whatever it might be, your chemistry, you're doing too much exercise or not enough exercise. Whatever it is, it affects your chemistry. So what are your norms? We don't know. We do not know. We need a health norm database. So what do I say? Well, what's the norm? How tall a guy is, how much he weighs? No, I don't care about that. What I care about is what's in your blood? What's in your feces? What are you able to absorb? What are you able to digest? What products can you give to your workers that are in your body that can go out and do the jobs you need to have done to make your body function? That's what I'm worried about. Now, so we need this database. Three fields. That's it, three fields. You go to the doctor, he says, give me a little blood, give me a little poop, and write down your problems. I'll tell you in a week how you fit in amongst the database. That's all. Let's start there. Don't say, okay, try some of this, have some of that, and by then, you got a tr real problem. Because once they start invading your body with other things that aren't supposed to be in your body to try to numb you from what your body is telling you you got a problem with, now you really got an issue. And then your body's going to do something else, and then something else is going to happen. By then, you're really on a downward spiral. So. Let's do this, get this database done. But see, all you got to do is get like 5,000, 10,000 entries in there, and you are going to find, I absolutely guarantee you, that no question whatsoever that there are norms to these things, and it will show a norm. And if you're so far out of the norm, why? Why? Not just, here to, let's numb you. No. Why are you out of the norm? And I can tell you why you will be out of the norm, because you're going to have a problem in the enzymes or the bacteria that's in your body, in your digestive system, and you will not be able to provide the things in your blood that you need to make yourself healthy. Products, minerals, you know, all your vitamins, your minerals, your, your transition metals, your, um, the glucose, glucose, all that stuff is regulated by digestive system. If you can't take it in and you can't deal with what's coming in there, because it has to be broken down to the tiniest, 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 tiniest little things, and that is done by enzymes. Now, how does enzymes do that? They have to have bacteria to make the enzymes. Then they end up going into the blood, and the, 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 the enzymes go into the blood, they go around, and they collect up metals. They collect up all these transition metals. I don't know if you can see that or not. I guess you can see that. that that's a periodic chart. They, they All the things I just showed you. And that's what they're supposed to do. And you're supposed to have a thousand bacteria in your body or more that, that do these jobs for you. Now, we take antibiotics, they kill those bacteria, and once you're in that condition, you are in a downward spiral. I don't care what anybody says, until you have good bacteria and you get a nice, comfortable digestive system, man, there is nothing better in your life. You will just feel like perfect. That's why you saw those probiotics and snap, but it's not, nobody knows what the, the norm is. We're not, we don't know what the norm is. It's insanity. It's literally insane. Literally insane to go to a doctor and say, I don't feel good. He says, well, well what's the matter? I said, oh, I'm sore. Oh, man, you got the ruins or arthritis. Yep, yep, yep. Don't have to do any tests about that. Well, yeah, we could just tell because you're sore. Well, wait a minute. Why am I sore? It doesn't matter. We're going to numb you. <laughs> well, don't you think that'll create a problem? Nah, not for me. <laughs> you just come back every month or so. I'll give you more stuff and keep you all doped up. You know, well, what, what's all these other side effects? Well, I don't worry about those. You just, yeah, forget those, you know. <laughs> no, no, no. I know they're worried about you. I know they wish they could help you, but they're not trying. And I had a friend that just went into uh, the rheumatology there, and they told her, nothing you can do, and she's been putting castor oil in her hands, has been helping her. They didn't want to even know about that. Not, at si not the slightest bit of interest whatsoever. And she's been five, six months now of totally uh, gone into remission, her hands have unswollen, her knuckles were swollen up, and people used to say to her, oh, you cracked your knuckles too much, that's why they're so big and puffy. And she said, no, they're just sore as hell. She couldn't turn, got bottle caps, she couldn't open bottles, crying and having problems and laying in bed, not being able to work. 
And then all of a sudden she put the castor oil on. A week later she's up and running and never had another issue since then until she stopped doing it for a couple of weeks. And then she had a little bit of pain, put it on, the next day she's back up and running again. So there's something going on there. And to not have any interest in that is, is a disgrace. And that's what we're running into. They just have no compassion. You know, well, I don't know. I'm sure they have compassion. I don't want to be so critical as that. But I, the profession is to heal you, to help you, to try to do what they can for you. Not to just turn things away that could have some possibilities. I'm not saying it's, it's the end of the world. It's going to be perfect. But I showed the chemistry. I know it's under, I understand the hydroxyl group on there. I understand the carbons. I understand carboxylation. I understand the, the transition metals and what they do and how they hold on to molecules and how they push things around using the pH of the body. I'm not just guessing at these things. You know, and I have an extremely excellent collection of, well, I have a collection of mud fossils everywhere that do these things. Yeah, my castor oil right there. <laughs> I'm telling you, that stuff works absolutely in my mind. You do what you want with it, but I'm going to tell you it works. All right, anyway, Mud Fossil University. We need this database, and I would say you, you need, somebody's got to step up and do this, and somebody's got to make some money on this, I'm going to tell you right now. You need a machine that says every single thing that's in your blood, what's in there, I don't care what it is, minerals, metals, bacteria, whatever's in there, 100%, boom, here's this, the layout. And then we need another one where you take the poop or some hair samples or maybe both, and you find out what the the bacteria is in your body and what things are in there that are broken down or not broken down. Now, from there, you're going to say, well, the, all those things, the enzymes and the bacteria and the parasites and all these different things control, ha have an effect on your blood. So the two of them are, are working in conjunction. You may find out that you're, you're, um, you have low oxygen levels. And so your, 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 your iron levels are low. You're anemic. Well, w why? There's probably a digestive enzyme that is not strong enough to break down the iron to get it in a condition that your body can use it. Because that's what they do. These enzymes are like little hacksaws. They go in and they cut the molecules into tiny, tiny, tiny little pieces that can be used by your body. And if you don't have them, you're, you're done. You're done. And the beauty about castor oil is that it's the only oil that I know of, well, I think it's the only oil there is, that can actually create products and do the same job as an enzyme almost. Now, I don't know how, it's called derivatization, and it can derive products from other products. So it's a breaker, it's a cracker. There's a, there's a hydroxyl uh, a functional group on, on the 12th carbon, on the 18 carbon strand of, of the castor oil, and and to me, it, that, like, that's like magic as far as I can see. you got all those carbons, you got the hydroxyl group in there to crack open the things that you have to crack open. The carbons are there that they just attach to anything in your blood, and they carry it around with metals that are in your blood. So, it, it's, it's just it's a perfect scenario. You, you it cracks the molecules, and they go into carbo carboxylation, move through the blood. And I know this from myself. I'm, to trust me, I've done very, very deep research on my own body, and a whole, whole bunch of other people have contributed their experiences too. So it's anecdotal, maybe, but um, it's it's pretty it's it's effective. Let me put it that way. It's what for me, it's effective. So do what you want, but but it, um, I think it needs to be looked into. But the database is the most important thing. Absolutely critical. Get a norm, then we got something we can go by. No norm, total guesses.